This is uh, Coach Pete Coleman with Pro3 Fitness. I wanted to bring you guys out today to show you a project that I'm part of and what will be the future home of Pro3 Fitness. Welcome to Vertical. So as you can see, we're still under construction. Project is still in motion. But I just wanted to walk you guys through to let you see what we'll be offering, kind of an overview of the gym. So today I just want to allow you guys to see what we're doing with this project. As you can see, we're still under construction, but you are able to see the outline and the layout of the building. So again, I just wanted to give you a brief tour of what we're doing. And then hopefully in six weeks, we can come back and you can see the finished product. So this first area we're in, as soon as you walk in the door, this area that's cut out, um, this will be where the turf will be. So our turf area is, is five yards wide and we go 25 yards deep. So you'll be able to do change of direction type drills um, and working on the beginning of 40 yard dashes. So this will be kind of like a multi-purpose area for all types of training. Uh, the first door here will actually be our main offices and where you'll check in with the receptionist. This big area that you see here, these are our men's and women's bathrooms and showers. So everybody will have their own entrance that they go in for the locker rooms, um, two showers in each bathroom area. Um, so we're, you're able to work out and then you can also shower when you're done. If you look over here on this side, these are our shooting stations. So a lot of people have been asking when I've been telling them about the gym, coach, what's a shooting station? So basically what's happened now, you have a lot of complexes that have stations that are about 20 feet wide, 27 feet deep. So it allows you to kind of work on your shot from that 45 degree angle over to 135. And it has a, a we're gonna use the gun instead of shot doctor, what a lot of people are used to, for the machine that'll kick the ball out to the athlete. So we have two rooms set up for that, one here and then one right next to it. Uh, the big openings that you see, those are plexiglass. So you'll actually be able to see in the room while you're shooting. So as we move over into this area, this will be where we do all of our weight training. Uh, it's 18, roughly 20 feet by 44 feet. So we'll have four squat racks up at this end, facing each other. Uh, then our dumbbells, we're actually using power blocks instead of dumbbells that'll go from five to 100 uh, pounds in increments of fives. We do have hammer strength equipment that we'll bring in and a lot of, uh, I'm a big Olympic lifting coach. So I, I think that's very important for athletes. So we got bumper plates, lots of bars, trap bars, heavy lifting chains. So you'll see a lot of equipment in this area. And one wrinkle that I'm adding, uh, we're going digital with some of the equipment. So I use a software program called Strength Coach Pro. And it will allow me, if I have a group of athletes training together, I can put four at one station and no matter what the lift is, it will put their individual amounts for that particular lift at that particular platform, at that particular squat rack. So if I go first, it'll tell me what I need to do when I'm complete, I hit complete, the next athlete's name will come up and it'll tell him how much weight to do. So that's what we're moving toward. Also, we're adding some software to our bars to determine how much force, how much power 
how much speed you're generating when you move the bar with certain weight. So trying to get kind of high tech a little bit moving forward, but I think it'll be a great benefit to our athletes. The area that we'll walk over to will be our plyometric area. So this last area that we'll go in until we go into the, the main the main focus of the of the complex. This will be our plyometric area. So those of you that worked out with me before, box jumps, uh, utilizing the Vertimax, all of that will take place in this area. Uh, there will be a total of three Vertimax V8s in this area, and each Vertimax will have 70 inches of plyometric boxes associated with it. We'll also have some bikes in this area to allow the athletes to warm up uh, before we start our work, be it plyometric, whether you're on the turf or either if you're using a weight room. And this last area, I guess this is, this is the showpiece of the gym and it's the main court. So this is the court uh, it will be a regulation high school court, 84 feet by 50 feet. We will have six goals associated with the court. We'll have uh, volleyball nets as well. So that will allow trainers, AAU teams of both basketball and volleyball to be able to utilize the court. Um, so as you can see with the building is, is kind of multifaceted. We're able to accommodate basketball players. We're able to accommodate volleyball players with the court, the plyometric strength and conditioning. So our basketball court, like I said, is high school dimensions. So it's 84 by 50. At one point we thought about going with a college or a pro court, which would be 94 by 50 but we had to opt out of it just because we wanted to give the athlete enough room that if they finished at the rim, they had room before they hit the wall. Now, our walls will be reinforced with like a composite material and they'll have pads over the top. But even with that said, a 100 foot building, 94 foot court, you only had three feet of stopping room. And if you've seen what has happened to athletes before, like Paul George, when he was out there training for the uh, U.S. Olympic team, you really want to give the athlete room after they finish at the rim to be able to go and clear. So we do have the high school court, uh, but the, the hard wood will actually extend wall to wall. So the wall that we have, the composite that I was talking about, pretty tough. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll take some punishment with you leaning in it. Uh, we'll have that going all the way around the walls, all the way up to the ceiling, just to help reinforce the building some. But as you have balls hitting, athletes may be, you know, running them to the side, you needed something stable. And then we'll have two inch thick pads over the top of the wall. So a lot of things going on in the building that's some newer technology, not only structural wise, but as I said, in the weight room with the equipment. So looking forward to having you guys come back and be a member of Vertical.